here with your processing point. Welcome back. Today we're talking about the Google Wallet. Now the Google Wallet caused a lot of buzz when it first hit the marketplace because it had people dreaming of a future. A future where they no longer had to carry around a clumsy wallet stuffed absolutely to the brim with credit cards and debit cards, loyalty cards, uh, customer rewards cards, driver's licenses, etc. because all that information could be securely stored within their mobile devices. However, criminals have already found a way to skim the password off of the Google Wallet and its bevy of competing products. So will this spell the end of the mobile wallet trend? Well, probably not. But before mobile wallets can become the mainstream use in the marketplace, there are some serious security standards that need to be adhered to in order for them to be safe for consumers and businesses alike. So let's take a look. So what's the answer when consumers are looking for easier and easier ways to utilize their debit, credit, and loyalty cards while at the same time merchants want more efficient ways to accept credit cards so they can enjoy all the great benefits of credit card acceptance? Well, first off I'd like to ask you this. If you were shopping online and you wanted to make a purchase, would you utilize your PIN number to make a purchase with your debit card on a website? Well, probably not, right? Because if some hacker was able to get hold of your PIN number during that purchase, then he could drain your bank account in a matter of minutes. So why would you do so with the Google Wallet or any of the competing products since they are nothing more than computer programs themselves that can be hacked and skimmed by criminals? Well, the second thing you need to realize is that the PCI compliance guidelines state that any merchant who wishes to accept PIN-based debit transactions must do so with a device that is um, compliant with PTS standards. Now what that means is PIN transaction security compliant standards. Now that would be like a PIN pad or a terminal that has been sent off to a secure facility uh, to be encrypted for a specific merchant and a specific processor. That is the only way that the PCI Security Council sees fit to utilize PIN-based debit transactions. Okay, so if you take all that and you wrap it together and you think, well, big deal. You know, the criminal is able to skim my Google Wallet password, but he still doesn't have my PIN number. Think again, because most consumers actually utilize the exact same four-digit PIN number for their Google Wallet as they do with their debit card. And criminals know this, so they figure if they can get your Google Wallet password and get access to all of your debit card information, then there's a high chance that they have your PIN number as well. Now, the PIN number is one of the most coveted and valued items on the black market. So, if you take all of that and look at it, uh, is this going to spell the, the end, the death of the mobile wallet trend? Well, probably not. Well, even though your cell phone will never be a PCI PTS certified device, we do not believe that that will spell the death of the mobile wallet trend. Quite the contrary, mobile wallets seem to be in such high demand that it is almost certain that they will be an everyday part of our lives, not only as a consumer, but as business owners too. So what do we need to do in order to make sure that the mobile wallet is much safer to use? Well, it is our opinion that the uh, mobile wallet mobile wallet app developers and cell phone companies need to work together with the PCI Council in order to make sure that these uh, uh, wallets are as safe as possible for the consumer. Now it may be as simple as changing from a four digit pin to something much more complex, but if it is done so properly, the mobile wallet could actually serve as an additional layer of protection to fight against credit card fraud. So this has been Rhett Bayless with The Processing Point. Remember to jump on over to Facebook, Google+, Twitter, or LinkedIn, and join the Merchant Doctor so you can be a part of the Merchant Doctor revolution.